Today we're going to be installing and testing out three offerings from Whitestone Dome. Here we have the Dome Glass EA, which is eco-friendly. It has a minimum of 40% recycled materials in it. This has a scratch resistance of 9H hardness. It also has an oleophobic coating. It's crystal clear and is shatter resistant. Next, we have the Dome Glass EZ. This is pretty much just like the EA, but it's not made of the recycled materials. It has a 9H hardness, it's shatter resistant, and it also has an oleophobic coating. And then we have the UV Gen Film for people who don't want to mess with tempered glass. This screen protector is made of film as suggested in the name. It's full coverage, it's crystal clear, and it's nice and smooth to the touch. So I'm going to be doing the installation for all three of these screen protectors. Then I'm going to be doing a scratch and a drop test to see how scratch resistant and durable they really are. So by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these screen protectors is right for you. So let's get started. And here we have Whitestone Dome's UV Gen Film. So we get two screen protectors, a UV light for curing, two installation packets, an installation guide, a squeegee, and some foam pads. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is to take your UV light, plug it into a power adapter or a power bank, because we need to make sure that it works before we start the installation. Then one really important thing for this screen protector is make sure you don't do this installation in sunlight because it'll prematurely start to cure the film. So the first thing we want to do is to put down one of your foam pads. Then take your guide. You want to make sure that you take the right end here because one is made for a lightning port and one is made for a USB type C. The one you want to use is the one that looks like a little C and then make sure that these ports are pointing up. Then take the guide and push it into the bottom charging port of the phone. Be very careful. Then clean off your screen and dry it off. Then take one of your screen protectors, open up the package, then take one of your screen protectors. We're going to peel off the underside protector. Then place the holes over the posts on the guide. Make sure it doesn't touch the screen of the phone. Grab onto the end here and we're going to line it up on our phone. Once you have it lined up where you want it, take your squeegee and just squeegee out the bubbles that you see. Then take your squeegee, put it behind the line here, lift up on the screen protector, make sure it goes up and over your screen and just squeegee out, just like this. Turn your phone around, lift up the screen protector from the posts, and then put your squeegee behind the line here, lift up on the screen protector, making sure it goes up and over your phone, squeegee out, and just help it lift up over the guide. Then we can pull out our little guide on the bottom of the phone. Make sure you don't see any bubbles on the screen. If you do, you can squeegee them out. And then we're going to peel very carefully peel off the front protector. Now you may see a line in the middle of the screen protector. Whitestone Dome says that should go away naturally. But what I would do is just very carefully try to just squeegee that down just a little bit. But be very careful not to press too hard because you don't want to damage the screen. Squeegeeing it definitely does help get rid of that line. Then we're going to take our UV LED and cure the top bottom and middle for 60 seconds each. Just double press this little button on the UV light and it'll automatically count down 60 seconds. All right, so screen protector looks like it came out really well. I don't see any bubbles, I don't see any lifting, and that line in the middle of the screen is now gone. There's just a slight like remnant of where that line used to be but when you're looking at the screen you really can't see it unless you're absolutely looking for it. As far as touch goes it is super smooth just like the glass that's on the phone. It looks like it does come all the way to the edge of the phone itself so we're going to test out the case compatibility. As far as fingerprints goes it does seem to pick up just some fingerprints but we should be able to wipe those away very easily and we are it's because the screen protector is so smooth the, the fingerprints or whatever's on the screen just wipe off very easily let's test out our face id face id working perfectly fine as you can see it's crystal clear touch working perfectly as well let's check out our camera 
Camera looks nice and clear. Don't see any issues there. Now let's put it into a case. And it looks like the screen protector does come right up to the edge of the case that I'm using here, but I don't see any lifting. I don't see any bubbles. It just perfectly fits the case. And that might very well be the same thing for you, but you're gonna have to test it out because not all cases are cut the same. But it does look really nice on the phone here. Works perfectly again with this case. So now let's move on to the scratch test. So typical film screen protectors start to usually scratch around a number two and some of the better ones at a number three. So we're gonna start off with a number two. So a number two is just simply a plastic tip. Then we're gonna move on to a number three, which is metal and that's copper. And as you can see, it makes some deep grooves at the number three, but there are no scratches at the number two which is definitely better than regular film. So scratch resistance on this film screen protector is definitely better than most other film screen protectors. So if you don't wanna use tempered glass and you wanna go with a film screen protector, this is definitely gonna be better for scratch resistance, again, than some other film screen protectors. Installation was also really easy. Again, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be case friendly with most cases, but you will have to try it out with the case that you're gonna use. So I would recommend the screen protector and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. We're not going to be doing a drop test for the film screen protector because film doesn't offer much drop protection at all. They're really just made for keeping your screen from getting all scratched up. And then they're very easy to remove. All you simply need to do is lift up one end with your nail or something like that. Something not metal. And then once you get it up, just peel it off the screen. And as you can see, your screen is still scratch free. And then here we have the Whitestone Dome Glass EZ. This comes with five tempered glass screen protectors, an installation guide, and an installation packet. So first clean off the screen of your phone, then dry it off. Then take your installation tray, making sure that the iPhone 15 Pro insignia goes towards the camera on your phone, and just press it into place. Then we're gonna take one of our screen protectors, just peel off the back, and just rest the screen protector inside the guide. Then run your finger down the middle. Press down on your phone, lift up on the guide. Then just push out any bubbles you might see with your finger. Installation was also really easy and there is a slight gap all the way around the phone for case compatibility, which we will be testing out. As far as touch goes, it's nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. The edges are also nicely rounded off as well. This is also a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your cameras. Let's test out our Face ID. Face ID works fine. And as you can see, the screen is nice and clear. Touch also works perfectly fine. No problems there. Let's test out our camera. Camera looks nice and clear as well. Don't see any issues there. As far as fingerprints goes, it does pick up some fingerprints and smudges, but you can very easily just wipe those away. So now let's put it in our case. So it does look like the screen protector may come right up to the edges of your case it does mine here. I don't see really any more gaps, but I also don't see any lifting or bubbles. So that's definitely a huge plus because the less gap that there is between the screen protector and the case, the less chance you'll have dust and other things collecting inside. So again, fits perfectly inside this case, but you will have to try it out with your case to see how well it fits. Looking really good so far. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. We're gonna start off at two feet three feet, four feet. So this screen protector only lasted up until a five foot drop. So now let's move on to the scratch test. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we're gonna move on to a number six. And then a number seven. 
So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are very slight at the number six and a little deeper at the number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be a little bit better than regular tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was really easy. The protector may not be compatible with most cases because it comes right up to the edge. But again, you will have to try it out with your specific case. Again, the screen protector lasted up until a four foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be better than regular tempered glass. So for me to be able to recommend the screen protector for drop protection, it would have to at least withstood a five foot drop. But because it only lasted up until a four foot drop, I can't recommend the screen protector and I'm going to give it a thumbs down. And here we have the Whitestone Dome Glass EA. You get two tempered glass screen protectors with guides and two installation packets. So first clean off your screen really well. Then take one of your screen protectors. We're going to remove the film. But before we begin, just make sure that the little arrow here with the iPhone 15 Pro insignia is going towards the camera on your phone. So peel off the back protector. And then just put the whole guide over the top of your phone. Press it into place. Then slide your finger up the middle and across the side. Then hold down on the guide and we're going to peel up the sticker. And then just lift up on the guide, pressing down in the middle. If there are any bubbles on the screen, you can use a credit card or your finger to try to get them out. So I was able to get those bubbles out. Looks like a really nice installation, but I did get some dust underneath the screen, which is unfortunate, but that's not the screen protector's fault. It does seem to have a slight gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility, which we will be testing out. As far as touch goes, touch nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. And the edges of the glass are also nice and rounded and smooth as well. It is also a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your cameras. We'll test out our Face ID. Face ID working perfectly fine. As you can see, the screen's also nice and clear. Touch working perfectly fine. Let's test out our camera. Camera looks nice and clear. Don't see any issues there. As far as fingerprints goes, it does seem to pick up some fingerprints, but again, you can just very easily wipe those away. Let's put it in our case. So the screen protector does seem to come pretty much up to the edge of the case, but I don't see any bubbles and I don't see any lifting. So that's definitely a plus, but you will have to try this out with your case that you're gonna be using because not all cases are made the same. But this one seems to be fitting perfectly fine. And like I said, it comes right up to the edge of the case, which you can see here. So, so far so good. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. All right, here we go at two feet. Here we go at three feet. Here we go at four feet. Here we go at five feet. Here we go at six feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a six foot drop. So the drop protection seems to be better on the EA glass. Now we're gonna move on to the scratch test. So we're gonna start off with a number five and then move on to a number six and then a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are a little bit at the number six and a little deeper at the number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty much on par with tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was super easy. Case friendliness is a little questionable because there's not much of a gap around the screen of the phone, but you will have to try it out with your case to see how well it works. Draw protection is also pretty good at six feet and scratch resistance seems to be on par with other tempered glass. So I would definitely recommend this screen protector and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. So I'm not really sure what happened with the dome glass EZ tempered glass because typically the EZ does pretty good in the drop tests. But as you can see, the dome glass EA did much better in my testings. And the UV gen film definitely does seem to be better than regular film screen protectors. So if you guys want to pick up any of these screen protectors yourself, again, I will be putting links in the video description. And if you liked the video and it helped you out, it would really help out my channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.